Hi everybody. Um, I've had a few questions uh, on the wiring for this project so I thought I'd just make a quick video trying to explain some things in a little bit clearer detail. Um, to begin with, let's just start with the very basics. Um, here's an outlet in my house, here's another outlet in my house. Uh, right here would be all the sockets on the lighting board, all the electrical sockets. And right here would be the relays board. So on this side, there's two completely separated circuits. On this side, the power comes in from the house. This goes into that little uh, HP um, power supply. And the current flows through that power supply into the relay board, which powers both the both the relay board and the switches and the relays and the Arduino um, and then completes the circuit and comes back and around so this is always a full circuit on this side power comes in from an electrical socket on the house flows up into the electrical sockets where all the uh, Christmas lights get plugged in and the relay switch sits in between here and is cutting the circuit off until the relay is turned on. So the electrical sockets are not, don't have a complete circuit until the relay over here on this side switches on and closes one of these, closes one of the switches which allows power to flow back. This would be, so over here I said this would be where the where the power supply, that HP power supply that I'm using is. Over here you can consider this the orange connector, the orange power plug that you saw, and I will show that in here in a second, that you saw on the project build. Until the relays close, this will not, this will not complete, make a complete circuit, and so no electricity can flow out through the lights that are plugged into the sockets. When the relay closes, energy goes up to the light string, back into the socket, and comes back around and completes, and the lights light up. So let's move on to the next little diagram here. So this is the this is the HP power supply and the relay board and the Arduino. That's this. So power comes in from some socket in my house goes into the power supply flows over to the relay board the relay board is powering the arduino mega that circuit is completed back to the relay board comes back into the power into the negative return on the power supply and goes back into the into the house main socket so that's this left side Now on the other side, a very simplistic view of this. Is we have, pretend again that this is that orange plug and that we only have one socket controlling one string of lights. Power comes into the orange socket, flows up, um, is connected to one of the electrical outlets on the board. And if the light, if there's a light string plugged in, it would flow up here, flow back down to the negative side of the socket, and if the relay were closed, it would then flow back out to that orange switch. And then here's the ground line connected also on that orange plug. Now normally, and again this is this side of, uh, this is this side of the, of the simple two circuit drawing. By default, the relay is open here, so there's no place for the power to flow back to the orange plug on the negative side because this is open in the relay. When the relay gets closed, this little switch comes over here and closes these two terminals together, and that allows every, all the power to flow back out on the negative side, and that will complete the circuit and cause a light to light up. So this is just, if there was only one uh, 
electrical socket in the project um, for lighting a light string. This is what it looks like with the multiple sockets. Again, up here we have our light strings. These are our electrical sockets on the project build. Each one of these is a relay. And what we have here is we have the positive electrical bus that is connected to each one of the electrical sockets on the positive or the hot side. So you can see there's a line coming up here and a wire here and a wire here. Then we have the ground bus. Again, this is a common ground bus. So let me go back one, one step. All of the electrical sockets are tied together into one positive bus. So you can consider this one wire coming out of that orange plug. The same thing is true for the ground bus. Every single socket is connected to a common ground bus. So one that goes up to here, there's the ground. Another one that goes up here, here's the ground. Another one that goes up here, here's the ground. These little humps are just me showing that the wires are not, that the ground bus is not connected to this positive line. That it's jumping over that wire, so to speak. So we have a positive bus, we have a, a, a positive common ground bus, or a positive common bus, um, a ground common bus, and then a negative common bus. Now, the outlets are not directly connected to the negative common bus. The negative common bus is tied to the open side, the default open side of each of the relays. So again, one relay per, per electrical socket and they are def by default not connected or they are open which means that no electricity will flow in a circuit. If, for instance, this relay was closed what would happen is power would come in through that orange plug, run up here, run into the socket, run up to the string of lights, come back down to the negative side of the socket. The relay, if, if this relay was closed, um, power would then continue to flow back to the orange plug on the negative common bus. So we have three common buses two of which are connected directly uh, directly to each of the sockets that's the po that's the positive or hot and the ground and one of which which is the negative bus which is always connected directly to the relays when the relays close everything flows and the lights light up now let's go look at this Let's go look at this on the actual board. Excuse my sniffling. My nose is going pretty good today. So, here we have... I'm going to try and back up. I can only get so far away with this camera here. This is the HP power supply. So let me just pull that out. What we're going to look at here is we're going to look at the left side of this drawing, the relay circuit. This is powering the relay board, so the negative and positive are going into the relay board. That's feeding um, a, negative and po uh, a negative and positive circuit to the Arduino which then can come back and complete the path. So the Arduino doesn't need another power supply. We're just, the relay board is powering it from this HP power supply. Now on each one of these relays, there are three screw terminals. I, again, I know this is hard to see. Um, oh, well, actually, before we go into there, 
Now let's look at the right hand side of this. So the right hand side was the electrical sockets, which are these. This orange plug and orange cord plugged into my house is, is supplying a common hot. It's supplying the, the, the positive incoming voltage or the hot to this common set um, this common hot bus for each one of for each one of the electrical outlets the common the ground coming out of here uh, let's see if I have the ground coming out of here is this common ground bus and you can see those two sides this side and that side are tied together so this is the common ground bus this is the common hot bus and underneath there is the common negative bus um, I, again I know that's hard to see but since I've uh, rewired everything or since I've taken out most of the excess wire I can't really move it around too much now the negative Let's go back to the little diagram of the socket here. You can see here that the the power flows to the negative side of the electrical outlets and then comes back to the power source, which is the common negative bus. Okay. Or it goes flows out the common negative bus. That negative side of the electrical outlets are these white wires coming from each of the sockets so we have here we have here the ground the common ground bus and that is plugged into the third screw terminal on each relay every one of them gets one in order so that every relay can complete the circuit the white wires the negative side coming out of coming out of the electrical sockets goes into the middle screw terminal on each one of the relays and in the correct numbered order so um, socket number one up here its white wire has to come out and plug into socket uh, actually I think that's socket one up there at the top or not socket but uh, relay one up there at the top the relays are numbered starting from one two three four five down to 8 and then they come across that's 9 and then go back up and this is 16 over here so that's how the buses work um, I mean it's it's I know it may have been hard to see in the earlier videos but this this incoming power here this orange plug is connecting the common ground back to the house for every one of the electrical outlets through the relays it is also connecting the common positive incoming voltage to each one of the sockets through one of these buses up here um, and then let's see so I'll show again here here is the line that's connected to this common ground let's see if I can separate these um, yeah it's hard to see here but this one is plugged into the common hot bus and this one is plugged into the common negative bus um, I hope that helps explain things I, I know I don't do a great job of uh, trying to show how this stuff has worked out but um, all you have to do is think in terms of there are two completely separate circuits one run by this power supply which runs the electronics down here and one run by this power coming out of my house out of a normal socket in my house which is powering all of the electrical sockets and what causes this and what causes the electrical sockets to have their circuits completed is the turning on and off of the switches and the fact that everything is connected to the common ground, everything is connected to the common uh, positive hot voltage, and the negative 
lines are coming back out of each of the electrical sockets into the relays when the relays flip that closes the circuit and allows everything to flow um, I'll make sure that I'm not oh okay uh, now I'm gonna back up because I've already con I've already screwed you up here this is not the ground bus this is the negative return bus the ground bus and the hot bus are up here so when I said before that this is plugging into the ground bus that's not true what plugs into the relay board are the negatives from the sockets and the common or yeah the negative uh, wires from the sockets and the common negative bus that returns back to this plug. I hope I didn't just confuse everybody worse than they already were.